So I am so excited to be here. Um, as Vicki Hale said, I have never presented to anyone in India. I've not been to India. Um, so I'm ex really excited to be here today. Um, as Vicki said, uh, I have done a lot of travel. There is still more travel for me to do. I usually have a background that says to travel is to live. Um, and as she said, I'm very interested in other cultures. So I've learned so much from my travel and that is part of who I am. Uh, as you see in the background here is one of my items that was on my bucket list, which is Peru or Machu Picchu in Peru. And this is Larry, just in case you were wondering who, who is that, okay? <laughs> so I named him Larry and he is gonna help me out with my presentation today. So let's get, let's get started. So one of the first things, uh, let me get my presentation up here. Okay, can we see that? Yes, yes, yes. Mom. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you very much. All right. So one of the reasons I chose this picture here is first and foremost, I love kittens. I have two cats, um, just to give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, and the university I teach for, which is St. Leo University, it, their mascot is the lion, right? And what I want you, you all to get out of this is when you look in the mirror, I want you to see a lion. I want you to see someone who is going to, to go for what you want in life. Uh, so that's how I wanted to start. And a little bit um, more about myself. So in addition to my travels, I also speak uh, Spanish semi-fluently and I speak some Italian. Uh, I'm an Italian, a uh, first generation Italian American. My mother was born in Italy and I still have family in the north of Italy that I keep in touch with and I visit um, probably every couple of years. So uh, uh, another way demonstrating that um, I am, you know, I am multicultural. So our presentation today is identifying your strengths and your career opportunities. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? For, for those of you who are on the, on the line, what I'd like you to do is put into the chat, what industry or area of specialization uh, what are you thinking about going into or are you studying in school? Just type that in the chat. Uh, it's teaching, uh, business. Just want to get an idea of uh, what people are. Uh, how about my team? Could you type in the chat? Psychology, teaching, journalism, psychology, teaching. Okay, good. A lot of teachers out there. Awesome. Teaching. Awesome. Technology. Thanks for joining us, Anita. Okay, we've got maybe about five or six, maybe a couple more people tell me where, what area they're considering. Literature, counseling, okay, awesome, great. All right, so also I want you to get out a piece of paper because I was not able to send something previously, but I want you to take a piece of paper. It doesn't have to look like this. It could have lines on it or whatever. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see what the put back here, right? And I want you to fold it in half, right? Once. And I know it might take you a few minutes to get the piece of paper. You can get it while, while we get started. So fold it in half once and then fold it in half again. So when you open it up, you have four quadrants, okay? So you'll, um, I'll talk about this later, okay? 
So just uh, if you wanna, while I'm talking, get that piece of paper and, uh, and do that while I'm talking. All right, so let's get started. <clears throat> First, I wanna talk about your job search, right? Your job search, a lot of times, no matter what country you are searching for a job in, is going to be daunting, okay? Sometimes it's going to be discouraging. It's okay, okay? Just remember that you're not alone, okay? You're not the only person uh, that this is frustrating for, okay? But then also sometimes it can be enlightening. And one of the reasons why I say that is because there are some things that you might learn about yourself in this process, right? You might learn uh, certain things about yourself, maybe when you're interviewing or when you're looking for jobs or when you're talking to people about jobs. And that's important to make note of some of these things that you're learning. You may learn that you apply for a certain job or you're looking at a certain job and that's not right for you. You may hear about a certain job and find out more about that job and realize, oh, I never thought that job was for me, but now that kind of makes sense. So in the job search, you can also find out information about yourself and then also information about jobs that are out there. Because a lot of times what happens with us is we have misconceptions in our mind in regards to what a certain job entails. And you can tell I'm Italian because I'm making a lot of hand gestures. <laughs> um, it, what, you know, what a, a job entails that you may not necessarily have known. You may have assumed that a certain job may have required certain skills or maybe required certain um, types of work. And then after you're doing some more research in your job search, you may find that it's different. So look at your job search as a discovery, right? You're discovering, you're getting enlightened about the job market that you are going into, the industry that you are going into and learning more about that industry, okay? Because again, the more you know about your industry, the better off you're going to be because you need to be, as this word says, enlightened about your industry and understanding what it entails, the jobs, the skills, those type of things. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so your approach to the job search needs to be thoughtful, okay? You shouldn't just apply for anything and everything. Right. You need to put a thought process into, OK, what am I applying for? Where am I applying? Right. What type of company or industry or government is this that I'm applying for? What kind of type of sector? Right. Um, I do tell my students, though, sometimes that um, applying for a job that maybe you're not quite qualified for or maybe not quite interested in, if you get an interview, will give you the opportunity to interview, which is always good because the interview, I mean, I could do a whole another segment on interviewing, but the interview process is, it can be very daunting. So the more chances you get to interview, the better off, right? So one of the things that I'm going to try to emphasize today in this session is that you are deliberate about your job search, okay? Meaning that you are not wasting your time looking for jobs that are not a good fit to your skills, okay? Um, so you need to look for jobs that are a good match with regards to your skills, your interests, your values, your surroundings, Okay, and we'll talk a little bit about that as we proceed on. 